The public should be able to see parts of a special grand jury report on Donald Trump's efforts to overturn Georgia's 2020 presidential election, a state judge ruled on Monday. But not all of it. Recommendations on whether there should be criminal charges will stay secret, according to Fulton County Superior Court Judge Robert McBurney. The county's district attorney, Fonnie Willis, formed the special grand jury shortly after a January 2021 phone call in the waning days of Trump's term. The Trump investigation is underway. Trump urged Georgia's top election official to find enough votes to give him the critical swing state. The special grand jury's report could potentially serve as the basis for a prosecution of Trump, which would make him the first former president in U.S. history to face criminal prosecution. McBurney said the report's introduction, conclusion, and a part where the jury discusses concern about witnesses possibly lying under oath should all be made public. You lie to them? Senior Trump advisors such as attorney Rudy Giuliani and U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham were among the 75 witnesses jurors heard testimony from over about seven months. Trump was not subpoenaed and did not testify. He has denied wrongdoing and accused Willis, an elected Democrat, of targeting him for political gain. The Georgia probe is just one of a number of civil and criminal investigations threatening him, his family, and his associates. America's comeback starts right now. Meanwhile, Trump's bid for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination is already underway. Decisions are imminent. It's up to Willis to decide whether to file criminal charges. Last month, she said decisions were imminent. At that time, she said she didn't want the report to come out adding that future defendants could argue unsealing it would hurt their right to a fair trial. The county judge says there will be a few days for prosecutors to discuss with him if more redactions are needed, with the selected parts set to come out on Thursday.